We are in downtown Light Union with the van that we live in, and today we're gonna go up to the top of the volcano. Oh, I don't know how it stayed up. First stop, the tour company. Throwing up to the top of the mountain is super crazy. Four by four is necessary. Uh, oh. So Olive will not make it. La Union is one of the busiest towns in eastern El Salvador. It's a great launching point to get to the border, but also to start your adventures if you're coming from the south, like we are. If you remember, in one of our border crossing videos, we were in La Union when we filled out the paperwork for Honduras and Nicaragua. You can always tell it's a busy city when there's so many yellow taxis. That's like a guarantee. Hola. We got a uh, tourist or like, See? See. We went to the office. The office is closed. It is 12:24. She should be back by one. They say she's probably just on her lunch break. So, <sighs> did I mention it's hot as baloney out here? On the dash and all of it said it was 100 degrees outside. It feels like 100. The hope is that by getting to the top of the volcano, it'll be much cooler climate. Fingers crossed that at one o'clock, the lady's back and we can set ourselves up. Because the tour starts at three. It's fun, but also terrifying. <laughs> and so if we're not in the next town parked up by three o'clock, something just flew in my face, we won't get the tour tonight and we want to get up there for sunset. So we're patiently, impatiently waiting for this woman to show up. Since we got about a half an hour to kill, we're going to try to find something for Paco. It's really cool how these towns have like these big markets that you can go through and you can basically find whatever you need. Ooh, Paco, you styling, bro? What are you? What are you styling? Back to the tourism office. We're about to go on a trip right now, but we gotta wait here until that time comes. This little girl's asking if Paco is Morte, which means like, will he attack her? But I'm telling her, no, you have to go slow with him though. But uh, it doesn't always come across right because my Espanol is solo pequito. Paco, aquí, come. English, bite. No, no morte, no morte, no bite. No entiendo English. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're hanging out in front of the main church in town. ¿Cómo se llama pueblo? Conchuga. Conchagua. Conchagua. <laughs> She's writing out a little note for us in the phone. Se llama Haiti. Haiti. <laughs> Hola, Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We're taking some luxury seats in the house. Frank's gonna freak out when he sees us. These are great chairs. Feel this thing. Woo! This is gonna be a ride up a mountain for sure. Only 40 minutes together. Hey, look, there's a cup holder for Paco's leash. I can honestly say. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, you gotta hold the own We've shit. We've never now. taken a ride like this before. No, this is the first. Paco, you must stay right there with mom, okay? You go anywhere, you're going out of that rig. Too. Yeah, it actually is kind of good because when we're bouncing up this mountain, we're gonna like want the shocks. Ready, watch. This is a... yeah, it's pretty good. My back is just yeah. like. <laughs> we paid thirty dollars for. Paco is scared for his fucking life right now. I am a little bit too. Hello. Hello. I feel uh, like I'm in a adios. space float. What? Like, I'm just gonna be waving at all the town folk as we go. Like, hello! White people doing weird stuff! What's up? Oh, I don't know how it stayed up! <laughs> oh my gosh! Go ahead, go ahead! It's my bonita! Oh, look at oh, oh, was that a big lizard? Look, we've seen wildlife! The people here have a lovely view, but the road coming up to get to your house would be kind of rough. <laughs> you know, after a couple of minutes in here, you kind of settle in though. You're just like, all right, this is what's happening. Oh, shoot. Hang <laughs> back. I'm not used to it. Oh, 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 oh. Dodge, dodge, dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Any other questions? Ooh, big downhill. This is definitely an interesting drive with Olive. Like, very interesting. 
Look, I almost went out. The road goes from like super bumpy rocks to really steep uphills. I'm leaning forward because I'm afraid I'm gonna fall straight out the back. This, this is what happens when you lean back. Oh my gosh. What is this place? Oh. <laughs> I'm just bouncing. Look at that wheel. <laughs> this camera is not going to do this justice. It's fun, but also terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, punch! <laughs> and remember, we also have to do this on the way down. It'll be worth it, I swear. It'll be worth it. <laughs> uh, so, that was the good boat. <laughs> Are you ready for the rest of the road? What do you mean? This is the, this is the off-road section. Oh. That's what I'm saying. We just got on the, off the good road. My hands are like blistered from hanging on so tight. I, I gotta say, these tire chairs are really doing a magnificent job of keeping my butt feeling good. It's great good. suspension for my spine. Yeah. Uh, they didn't make it. They tried. I think they probably overheated on the way up and then, it and then the car the exploded. Yeah. That's what happened to that guy. So definitely don't bring your own vehicle up here. Uh -uh. I was too slow. There was a giant sign, which hopefully I think means we're getting close. <laughs> oh my God, it's like a straight cliff. Uh. Oh. oh, the truck is struggling to get around that. It was just sliding. Whoa, look at that. Holy crap. That's crazy. That's gonna be a crazy view at the top. So worth it. Oh yeah, we made it. Woo! Oh, so good. Hola. Hola, amigo. Hola. Hola. Whoa. That's what we came up here for, for that. <laughs> Gracias. 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 Oh. <laughs> now we explore. Wow, this is gorgeous. Holy moly. Oh. all the way up to the highest observation deck now. Dude's I think ready. Paco's gonna do it himself. Dude's ready, come on. It is almost a full 360 degree view. You have about 180, maybe a little bit more of a view because there's some trees here blocking that section. But man, are we up here. That feels not allowed. It's definitely like so they can work on the solar panels up there, that's it. It's a beautiful country though, that's for sure. It is fun, second beautiful. What we have now realized is that the spot that he brought us to originally is a walk. And um, there's an area that you go for a walk back there and where now we have to go walk all the way to that spot and figure out what the view is like over there. Our Spanish is just very bad. And he yeah. was like, you're gonna come back here later. It's a 15 minute walk 
from the spot. And then you go over there and you can enjoy that area as well. And we're gonna get the beautiful view from there too. It smells now. like pine in this it forest. It's so amazing. Oh, look at all the pine needles. I feel like we haven't been in a forest like this since we left the United States. Pretty much. This is wild. I would yeah. have never expected this in El Salvador. Even up top, there was also a palm tree. <laughs> so it's just like a very weird thing to have the palms and the palm. And the pine. The, the palms pine and the, the palms. <laughs> Paco so fast. Paco Rocky beat it. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we made it, Paco. What is it? Give me the punches. Give me the punches. I don't remember Rocky. You got to keep going. Keep going. What do you mean, keep going? So we're not really sure what this pyramid is for. It looks like inside of here, there's a set of stairs that goes down into it. Who knows what's inside? Let's peek in, let's peek in. Definitely still a little bit under construction, so maybe by the time you get here, you'll be able to tell us what this is. To go down. Safety first, friends. We need to readjust these beautiful chairs. One dog. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this backward business. Well, I told you this was gonna happen. I feel like obviously it's safer because we're gonna be on a pretty good pitch going down. But this might make me more nauseous than the way up, not being able to like see where we're going. You can peek over the shoulder like this. Adios! <laughs> Get ready for the ride of your life, mother truckers. Paco, hang on to those paws. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, here we go, baby. Not that the way back is smooth, but it definitely feels less Lots. crazy. Lots. Yeah, it's just, you know, we're just rolling downhill. That's all that's happening right now. The driver has the control. Hopefully he continues to do an excellent job. We are moving at a quick clip. <laughs> the only way that I can be comfortable on this ride is to sit like a, like a basketball player, I feel like. Pretty much, yeah. Like I'm like full, like a, full like sprawl. Hey girl, <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it. It's like going down a backwards roller coaster at Bush Gardens with way less safety precautions. <laughs> I'm not even strapped in in a single way. There's a car coming. On the way up, Frank and I were like, should we be wearing God. helmets? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Back on solid ground. That was freaking awesome. <gasps>
It's Monday night in Conchuga. We are exploring a little bit. The town's pretty quiet. I think probably on the weekends this would be popping. Yeah. But like I said, it's a Monday night, so it's just us and a couple of other folks. Which I love it that way. This is like the perfect way to explore a place if you ask me. So we actually were just talking to a guy named Leo who lives in Maryland, but he's from here originally. He's coming back to visit, and he's going to show us where we can get the most authentic pupusas we're going to get here in El Salvador. Oh, and I bought a bracelet. <laughs> I can legit hear the lady smacking the pupusas right now. Let's go. Super cute back here. And quiet. Wow. Super quiet. Okay. I love that. Let's do this. Oh, gracias. To have that, gracias. To have that opportunity oh. to be able to uh, oh, to see it. Oh, yeah. Look at these. They look great. Oh, good recommendation, by the way. <laughs> gracias. See? See? We're going to probably gracias. order more after this. <laughs> he can eat a lot. <laughs> yes, I <okay>. can. <laughs> gracias. gracias. Okay, bueno, gracias. These pupusas are the real deal. Real deal for sure. Oh my goodness. Even the onion, the onions are like spicy jalapeno onions. Mmm. Mmm. The one thing is no fork. You don't need a fork. It's pupusas. Yeah, but I wanted it just to put it on the pupusas. Oh my god, get out of town. He's uninvited. <laughs> Am I? You got the sauce. I'm not gonna be able to. There's this sauce it. too. What's the difference? I don't know. It looks the same. I think it's the same. Maybe that's hot sauce. Oh my god, I hope not. Oh my gosh, hush, hush. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> she got the wrong sauce. I made a terrible mistake. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I got the sauce. I got the sauce. It's delicious. This is the garlic and cheese one. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I keep getting mine without cheese, which makes them harder to like rip apart, but better for my stomach. But this is the real deal. This is the real corn. You could tell by the way, the way that it's like sticking together mm -hmm. and falling apart. Our friend Leo was saying most of the places make it with corn flour, mm -hmm. which you would just buy at a bag at the grocery store. But this place starts with the corn from scratch and they grind it themselves, which so makes is, it more better. It kind of reminds me of the spot in El Tunco, the ladies that make it there. Mm. Very similar uh, texture. You can tell a big difference in the texture when it's made. But uh, yeah, when it's made fresh. Oh, I hit the hot sauce again. <laughs> <laughs> Those pupusas, in my opinion, were absolutely incredible. Best you've ever had? I think they, they're up there. Six pupusas, one soda, $6.15. Well, that's the kind of meal out I can get behind any day. We made it back to the well-lit spot in town, and I got my eyes set on a treat. It disappeared. The cart's gone away. Oh man. You survived this time, sweet dessert, but next time I'm eating your ass. Ew. Become a Patreon today to find out the behind the scenes scoop of what's FNA next. We're gonna head more into the main downtown of San Miguel. Everybody's <laughs> screaming out all the things, like, see? <laughs> People are so nice. In case you're wondering, Christmas has been over for a, a long time. 